Do better work than that. That's a good one. That is a good one. That's a good one. Not bad. Good job. Great job. Look at Not bad, not bad, Lila. Awesome, that's beautiful. Keep going. Good job, Lila. Awesome. Not bad. They're getting better in ping pong, right? It's all about practice. The more you do something, a movement, an exercise, a sport, the better you become at it. In this video, I want to address a couple, a few um, commonly asked questions, at least as of recent videos. I will be talking about my breathing, uh, the amount of break I take in between sets, as well as uh, my stretching. So first up is breathing and a couple of different uh, methods for breathing. So on a warm-up, as you're seeing right now, you know, warm-ups are easy, uh, not a whole lot of technique or anything like that. I don't, I don't do any major slide. I don't focus too much before the rep itself because it's just a warm-up. But breathing for warm-ups, um, you know, because the reps are so short, you know, they're half reps, I take smaller breaths just small quick breaths between each rep and sometimes i'll even do i'll even do like two or three reps maybe five you know if it's just 135 reps without or with one breath and not take you know 20 different breaths in in that set of 135 and that seems to be just fine but as i go heavier like what you're seeing right now on my heavier working sets um, after I do my slide, I take a quick breath just to lift the bar off. And then as I just pause it there for a split second before I descend, um, I, I take another breath before I start to descend. And that breath, I hold all the way down. You know, I usually pause it on my chest. And then as I start bringing it back up, I'll slowly exhale on the way up. And, I feel like that gives me um, like a little boost of energy on the way up, <clears throat> being able to exhale some of that pressure that I've been holding in. And it seems to work for me. Uh, that's how I've been doing it all these years. Um, if you're new to the game or uh, if you're trying to change up your breathing style, you know, it, it might work out differently for you. You may want to try some different ways. I'd recommend um, you know not going too heavy if you're just trying to work on your breathing form or technique uh, but also not too too light either because you need some load uh, so that your body um, you know handles it correctly for instance if i were to change my breathing i wouldn't want to go all the way down to 135 i don't think that puts enough pressure on my body to um, have an effective breathing pattern or figure out an effective way to breathe under load I'd probably stick to something like you know like 250 or 275 for me now the last thing on breathing is when I'm doing heavy working sets but you know multiple reps and not just one rep so after that first rep that's what I've been talking about the whole time but each rep thereafter I'm taking quick short breaths um, on the way back down so you know, first rep's on, on the second rep, as I, as I bring the bar down, I'm taking a quick breath. Uh, and, then, and then everything from there follows the same as the first set. So as it leaves my chest, like I'll pause it, and then as it goes back up, then I'll slowly exhale. And then third one, quick, quick breath, down, start exhaling, and I lift back up to complete the rep. One last thing I wanna add on to the breathing piece, Sometimes you'll see me str not well. Yes, yeah, struggle. It looks like I'm struggling on the last rep, and while it is hard, I know that I can complete it. I'm just uh, 
I'm just making sure that I, I can do it. So I'm, I'm doing it slowly. But on those last reps that are kind of like grinders where you're pushing it up pretty slow, you have to regulate your breathing on those. I forgot to mention, but if you, know, if you exhale all of it and, and you're not like holding some of it back, you need to time it to where the exhale completes like like you're out of breath as you finish the rep all the way up because if you lose all of that air and you're not you know like you still got a ways to go to locking out then you can be in serious trouble all right hopefully i didn't lose you in the breathing portion of the video um, i can run a bit long sometimes no pun intended uh, so next up is breaks and this will be a lot easier so on my warm-up sets you know, like I said before, lightweight, quick, easy. I'll probably break for anywhere from one minute to a minute and a half tops, and then I'll get that next warm up set in. Breaks between the heavier working sets, um, I take anywhere from three and a half to four and a half minutes. So it all depends on, uh, on how my body feels that particular day, but I need to give it enough rest to uh, be ready for the next set. And I found that this time frame usually uh, is what works best for me. You know, I've been distracted in the past, checking emails on phones or talking to people in the gym, and I'll have like a five, six, seven minute break in between. And what happens when I take too long? You would think I'd come back really refreshed and energized, but what ends up happening is my, I guess my muscles or my body gets cold, and um, and I, I I lose like all of the buildup that I'd been doing in past sets because I took too long. So I actually get a little bit weaker and my technique um, kind of it isn't as uh, tight as it was in the prior rep because I took too long. So um, I would say five minutes at the very most if you can, uh, if you can stick to that. All right, the last thing I want to touch on in this video is a stretching. As I've said in the past, you might have seen other videos where I'm talking about it. But stretching is so important. Um, I can remember back in high school and college where I didn't stretch as much between sets and workouts and before the gym. I don't stretch too much after the gym, but during the workouts and before, like on my way, you know, just in the car driving there, the red lights and stuff, I'll, I'll, I'll do the stretches. Um, the stretches that I do at the gym were in the clip right before the squats here started. And I have found, I mean, it feels really good after a set, but I I think I may be making this up, but I used to get so many more injuries than I do now. Um, injuries like chest strains, shoulder, little minor shoulder injuries. I've never had wrist pain before. I've been asked that question, but I've never had that. But I'd get these little minor aches and pains through high school and college. And I want to say it's because I didn't stretch or warm up as much as I do now. Knock on wood, I've not had any minor aches or pains in, gosh, well over three, four years. Like, I can't even remember the last time. And I think it's just from stretching and doing warm-ups. Not too sure, again, but I want to show you what I do during the gym um, as far as stretching goes, I think it stretches my lats and then the sides. Gosh, I even do leg, pre uh, leg stretches um, because it feels good. And, uh, and I, 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 like I said, I want to say that that's kept the injuries at bay. And uh, if you don't do it now, I would encourage you to try to do it and, um, and see if it helps with your aches and pains or, or even recovery, actually can't believe I talked through a whole nother video even though these clips have sound on them uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know that your feedback is heard your comments are read and I appreciate your support and watching and liking the videos and all that good stuff uh, wouldn't be here without you guys and the videos uh, wouldn't be what they are without your feedback so thank you so much for watching I am going to sign off here and let you enjoy a few gym sounds without my voice.
guys, it's um, Saturday. I think it's March 16th or 17th. I'm on Lake Harris. My fishing partner's not here. He's in New York. Um, so fishing by myself. Just got here. I don't have the normal camera mount, so um, the chesty. So I'm just gonna kind of leave it on my dash here. It's gonna look something like that. Unless it falls over. It's it for now. We get it. I had my camera off, but I just, uh, just caught a 368 right under that dock right there. Set the cameras off. We'll just see it later. Thank <laughs> you. 